Hello, my absolutely amazing YouTube friends. I'm Danielle Torres, and I'm so happy that you're here on my YouTube channel. I want to say welcome. Go ahead and like this video. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel and definitely, definitely share these videos because I am on a mission to help a million women make their mark in this world. Will you join me in that mission? Today is a great day because I have one life-changing truth that I want to share with you. This isn't one of those videos where I do a list. I, I'm not necessarily sharing success secrets, but this is one tip, one truth that can absolutely revolutionize your life if you're willing to hear it, okay? So let's get into it. I'm gonna jump right out and say it. The one truth that can change your life is the understanding that there is nothing that you're supposed to do. Did you get that? Nothing that you're supposed to do. In life, we get so bogged down with shoulda, coulda, wouldas. We get so bogged down with the things that society tells us we should be doing, whether it's age-based, oh, you should be married by now, you should have a kid by now, you should have completed your education by now, or whether it's, you know, because you're a woman, you should be able to do this, uh, you should be caring everyone. You should know how to cook. <laughs> if it's men, you should make a lot of money. You should be uh, the sole provider for your family. You, I, I'm not a man, so I don't know all of you men's shouldas, but I do know that there are a ton of them and there are a lot of things that our society tells us that we should be doing. As a Christian, there's also an added pressure, I believe, to find out what your purpose is, to find out what you should be doing with your life. Well, I want to take all of the anxiety off today and, and tell you one thing is for sure, and that is that God is not into the destination. He's into the journey. We as humans are completely into the destination. We feel like anything that we've done in the past doesn't really count because we're always like marching forward to this big ethereal goal, this moment when we become what we're called to be, where we step into destiny and finally unveil the promises of God. Can you relate to that? I know so many of you can. I, I know that I'm not the only one who grew up feeling like there was gonna be a moment where I stepped into destiny and things came together. Now, I'm not saying that your life doesn't come together. I think in a lot of ways it does, but God is not about the end point. And he's not about the destination. He's about the journey. What that means is he wants to walk with you. That's what he's concerned about. He wants us to be intimate with him and lean on him and commune with him, fellowship with him as we go about creating and moving forward in our lives. He wants us to lean on him and pray to him for direction and, and, and enjoy, enjoy the journey. That is so hard to do, but it is so important that we take a load off and we find rest in the joy of the journey. I remember before my husband and I were married, or before we were even engaged, we were on a missions trip to Democratic Republic of Congo. And while we were there, I was just thinking, you know, I love him, he loves me. I know he's got, it's so beautiful. Of course, he's gonna propose here. And he didn't. And the entire plane ride back, I just cried the whole time because in my head, you know, there's so many shoulds running. I should be married by now. I should have start having kids because, you know, 30s. I should, um, you know, we should be engaged so I can tell my family and friends, like all these unspoken shoulds and they didn't happen. I was so upset and I talked to my mentor who's now passed, I love you forever, Debbie Berry, and she would, she just stopped me. She goes, stop, you're upset over nothing. You want to be married, you wanna be engaged, you want the destination, but you're missing out on the joy of the journey. And there's no point, there's no timeline that you should be engaged. 
should be married, take the pressure off of you and take the pressure off of him and enjoy, partner with the Holy Spirit to find joy now. So guys, I don't know where you are. I don't know what's going on in your life, but that's what I want to encourage you to do. Take a load off, partner with the Holy Spirit to find joy right now in whatever situation you find. And I'm saying this to myself, yes, I have lots of dreams. I'm very ambitious. I'm very achievement oriented, but I too have to stop, take a deep breath, let go and let God of some things that I can't control. And remember that he is here right now for the journey. So wherever you are right now in life, I want you to think of your life as a journey with God. If you don't know God, then I encourage you to get to know God because he's the one that makes that journey so fulfilling. And if you're on your journey with or without God and you find yourself um, in anxiety about what you will become, I just would ask that you take a second and go, no, what am I finding joy in today? What am I doing today? Because I can tell you that Wherever you're going in the future, if you don't learn the joy of the journey and to release the shouldas and the supposed to, when you get to that place you think you're going to be, all of those shouldas, all of those supposed tos will follow. For me, as soon as I got engaged, it's, well, when are you getting married? As soon as you get married, well, when are you having a child? You literally pop out a child, and the second you pop out a child, the second, people go, when are you having your second child? They need a sibling. So much pressure, you guys. And that's just with family. There's so many other pressures that we face in our society. So I wanna encourage you, be strong, be unique, be you, don't worry about timelines, don't worry about what anybody else says you should do partner with the Holy Spirit to find joy in where you are and joy in the journey. All right, be released. I'm <laughs> just kidding, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you. If it did, please share, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for lots and lots more great content. All right, bye.